Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to part 13 of my Sajit Ray season. Um, it's been a while since part 12 but obviously I was just doing this break so you could all watch the first 12 films um, and let me know in the comments what you thought of them if you haven't seen them already. So this is part 13. It's Days and Nights in the Forest from 1970 not 1955. Um, as you can see, I have it on a wonderful copied off the television edition because the DVD, I think the last time I checked, was about £120 on secondary markets. It's another one of Sajiri's main, or quite a lot of his films, that deserve better releases or a release period would be quite good. This one is a setup that has been seen in so many other films. It's about four friends who go off to the country for a weekend from the city and it basically follows their adventures. We've all seen it before um, but this one it's quite special, as all Sajiri films are. Um, it stars Samita Chatterjee, his kind of main actor that he's worked with on several occasions, um, and also Sharmila Tagore. It's a story by Sunil Ganguly. I apologise for the bad pronunciations. Um, and with most of Sajiri films, he wrote the screenplay did the music and obviously directed the film. So you have these four not archetypes but you know one of them's the clown essentially, the other one's the sportsman who um, has terrible luck with the ladies. He's coming off a, a bitter split up with his girlfriend. Um, you have the kind of reserved one and then you have the cool guy who is famous because his father is like a famous lawyer um, and you have these four essential archetypes who kind of bicker and argue and do the usual thing that men do when they're on trips away it's a film that's obviously about the stupidity of masculinity and the kind of facades that men put up, the projected image that they want in comparison to the actual true meaning of themselves. Um, so they pretty much turn up at this bungalow, they haven't actually booked it but it's empty so they just essentially take it over and they get drunk, they get into bar fights, they meet these kind of tribal girls who they pay to come and clean the place up for them. Um, the sportsman falls for one of the girls um, and then they meet these two kind of classier ladies and they kind of fall in with them, go for picnics. Um, and as we learn about these women and these women's backstory, the film kind of takes a somewhat darker turn. Like the first half of the film is essentially just a light hearted, um, you know, four guys away in the country, which we've, again, we've seen so many times. But then it does take a a darker turn and kind of their facades are kind of slowly eroded 
um, by these women and by life itself. Um, as usual, Ray has his normal themes. You know, some of the dialogue is spoken in Bengali, some of the dialogues in English. There's constant references to, again, being more English or becoming more English. Um, again, the class system or the caste system is at work because these guys come from the city and they kind of act in a superior manner to the village people and the country people. Um, essentially, money talks. So there's like a level of corruption in the film as well. And it's just this idea of if you just pay people off, then, you know, your problems can go away. Um, it's a really beautifully shot film. Again, unfortunately, the version I have is just recorded off the television. Um, probably, probably about 30 years ago now. Um so you can't see it in its complete sumptuous glory that it would be. Um, there's lots of beautiful shots in that period just at dusk. Um, some of the this kind of brief flashbacks to how, not necessarily how the guys got there, but um, there's flashbacks to the sportsman's relationship, there's flashbacks to Sumitra Chatterjee's character, um, who's basically a spoiled rich kid, essentially. Um, there's a nice scene when they're having a picnic with the women and they're playing a memory game, which is a lovely little scene. But again, as they kind of split off and splinter, the film does kind of take a darker turn. Um, the reserved guy um, ends up with one of the sisters. Um, Sumitra Chatterjee ends up with um, the more kind of mysterious woman. The sportsman ends up with um, the kind of country girl and, well, the clown's a clown. And it's just, again, I will be repeating myself, as you will have noticed during my Sajit Ray videos. Um, his films are generally pretty simple in their setups, but they are deceptive in their simplicity. Um, he shows us human characteristics and human traits that are universal, so even though it might be a foreign world, you can identify immediately with these characters, either in yourself or people that you know. Um, so again, Saiji Ray films don't have amazingly elaborate plots. They're generally character studies um, of human behaviour and the universal universality, which isn't even a word, um, of those behaviours. Um, it's just a wonderful film that I would highly recommend if you can find it somewhere. Um, hopefully one day, I know the Apu trilogy and the Music Room is on Criterion, um, but hopefully one day Criterion will release even a DVD set of a lot of his kind of lost works that are pretty hard to get. Um, because I mean we're now into part 13 of the Sajit Ray season and yes some of the films are better than others um, but they're all well worth checking out um, yeah so let me know in the comments below if you have seen Days and Nights in the Forest and what you thought of it and hopefully we'll see you again for part 14 of the Sajid Ray season which is a film that I actually have on bought DVD the next two I think I've actually got on bought DVD um, so thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again
This is Saul Chiron saying farewell. <laughs>